doesn't seem like enough money to live off of. Drone time! Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Drawn Talk. It's your boy, Tyler. And guys, Entity, we have two or three days left. Uh, 98 backers. This is, uh, as of right now, this is huge. I am so grateful for each and every single one of you who have backed this. I have, My record has been 70 backers. We're at 98. If we can get to 100, I'm going to probably do a backflip and break my freaking neck. But I'm so happy, so grateful. And if you're one of those people who are like, I don't back Kickstarters. I want to wait till the Indiegogo. Don't worry. August 1st or 3rd, I'm trying to figure out which date, we will do, uh, we'll do a one-week Indiegogo for Entity, um, but yeah, because of because we've hit 2,500, I'll be adding an extra uh, six to eight pages uh, for a making of section. So once again, truly grateful. Go check out Entity. The link is in the description down below. Guys, today I want to talk about. Um, how much can you make when you work for a comic book publisher? Uh, a couple months ago, there was this hashtag hashtag uh, called publishing paid me and I didn't do a video about it then because I was in Wisconsin and I was visiting my family and it was just a huge really hectic time but I'm doing it now because I came across the screenshots that I took at the time and there were some comic creators who put out how much they made how much they made uh, per page uh, working with certain companies. So I want to go through some of these, showcase them, and we're going to do the math. Is this a livable wage? Now, it's, that is completely up to you and your family, your circumstances. Everyone's different. I know the, I know how much I need to personally make each year in order to quote unquote survive. Obviously, we always want to make more and it'll, it, would, it would be nice to always make more, but we, you have to have a base. Uh, Todd McFar McFarlane always said that as long as he made $80,000, he was good. Uh, mine's a little lower. Uh, <laughs> uh, so as long as I make X amount each year, I know me and my family are okay. So let's go through these. I'm super excited uh, to go through these. All right. So the first one is from a creator named Rick Nick Robles, uh, and he says um, when he worked at Boom, he made a hundred a uh, hundred dollars per page, and then two to four hundred dollars for the cover. All right. So let's do the math on this. And this might be boring for some people, but I just think it's fun, all right? So we're gonna go, where is that calculator? All right, so we got 100 per page. Now, we're, for all of these, we're gonna say that um, each comic is 22 pages. That's what we're gonna say for these ones. So if you go 100 times 22, he's making around uh, $2,200 a month. Uh, this is before taxes. Uh, this is before taxes uh, per comic, and then you add a cover. Let's just let's just meet this guy in the middle and say and add 300. So each month he's making $2,500 at Boom per comic. Times that by 12. Um, that's thirty thousand dollars. I don't know where you're at. I know I personally couldn't live off of that. My wife would have to go to work, or I'd have to do a lot of different freelance gigs, or sell the art somehow. Um, but thirty thousand dollars. That's what he's making at Boom. Now, if we look at Vault, okay, Vault for full color page, full color. That's important. He's making around a hundred ninety dollars per page. And so let's times that by twenty-two. You know. 4,180, not bad. And then plus a cover, wrap around. So let's go 380 times that by 12. All right, so if he did a 12 issue series and he worked for Vault for that entire year, he's making around $54,720 and that is before tax, not bad. And if you look at if you look at IDW, uh, it's around the same thing. A uh, Valiant, that's when, he, that's when the page rate gets a little better. You know, 225 uh, times 22. Um, plus 300 for the cover. Oh no, I hit 5250 times 12. And you're looking at now $63,000. So, you know, you work at a small company like Boom, then you, you know, you move your way over to Valiant. $63,000, not bad. Not bad. I'll, I'll work at Valiant. I will work at Valiant if I can, if I can do that. But now look, you got Marvel, $250 a page. And now you got times that by twelve, sixty-six thousand dollars, and that's not and then that's not even the that's not even the color, that's not even the cover. Uh, and then you have you know right here DC obviously killing it with their page rage, uh, page rate three hundred times twenty-two times twelve. You know seventy-nine thousand two hundred. You know add 
you know, add, you know, an extra couple thousand with the for the cover that's dope 79,000 I will take 79,000 and work uh, for DC <laughs> uh, so that's really interesting so let's move on to another creator all right this is Ray Anthony height he's a black artist my current page rate at Marvel is a hundred sixty dollars for for penciled page and then $250 for pencils and inks. Now this is important guys. If you're a penciler, you you should learn how to ink as well. It's 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 a little harder, it adds a little more time, but he added almost an extra hundred dollars to his page rate doing some extra work. Alright. So let's go if we go 250, you know, times 22 times 12. Homeboy here can make sixty-six thousand dollars a year from Marvel. Not bad. Not bad. Now let's go over to, uh, gotta fix this one. Christina Strain, Asian American artist, writer here. I was a colorist at Marvel. Okay, so this is for colorists. I was a colorist at Marvel from 2004 to 2013, and my coloring page rate was $150. Wow, $150 times 22 times 12. 39,000 now you might go oh my gosh that's not a lot that's not a lot of, that's not a lot of money to live off of but here's the thing colorists um if they're able to can work on more than one project i i saw an interview by alex sinclair he's famously known for being the colorist for jim lee he says that he's coloring anywhere from four to five comics each month okay so i mean you times that by five colorists you know if you if you kept that pager and you work on five different books 198,000 dollars almost two hundred thousand that's not bad that is not bad at all i'll take that any day and then as a writer my marvel page rate is eighty dollars now the reason why writers make less is because they can work on multiple multiple properties and then that's where the artist first writer think well you know it's easy for you to write you know iron man fights galactus and then i as the artist have to draw it um, but just goes to show that industry standard writers will probably get paid less than the artist but 80 so let's go 80 times 22 times 12 Oof, only twenty thousand dollars and that's why you want to be as a writer working on multiple multiple projects um you know you look at people like don and kate scott snyder they are putting out work they have multiple um books underneath underneath them all right let's move on to right here all right all right this one's a little different that's kind of cool to talk about this is a shanti fortson she says she was offered eight thousand advance in advance for a 300 page full color painted graphic novel in 2018 7.5 percent retail royalties and my agent negotiated us up to ten thousand dollars in advance the publisher kept telling me how much they valued my book and my voice even after they fired almost all of their black employees okay so without getting into the race and the politic parts of it um Sometimes with book out publishers, what they'll do is they will pay you up front. So sometimes, uh, I don't, depending on the company, you can make royalties off of your comic, which is cool. Now, if they give you an advance, um, but you don't, but you're not allowed to, you don't make royalties until the company has made their money back. So if they spent ten thousand dollars on you, they're not, gonna, you're not going to get any royalties until the company has made that ten thousand dollars back. What some companies will do, however, is they will pay you in advance. So they, like, here's eight thousand uh, dollars to work on this, and you go, okay. I'll work on this and you work on this book and then it's released and then after that you will then um, once they make up their portion you then will get royalties off of that now eight thousand dollars for a 300 page fully colored painted graphic novel um you know and you know even ten thousand dollars that doesn't seem like a lot of money that seems uh like she personally got like i don't know she got gypped you go if you go let's see ten thousand divided by three hundred uh, that's $33 a page basically obviously she's get uh, now here's the thing you can make more money if royalties if the book is successful if the book is successful she'll make a crap ton of money and it she'll be making money constantly now if the book doesn't do well oh, like she totally got ripped off uh, Robert Downey Jr. he made a ton of money in Endgame because he decided to take less of a pay advance and he, and he said I want some royalties um, and he made a ton of money same with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio uh, with Inception he took less of a pay cut so that he could get a portion of the royalties and that's why he was able to make so much money in inception all right let's let's move on 
to this one. Okay. Here's another small company. Oni paid me $3,000 in advance for archival quality with 50-50 royalty split Ooh, on net sales. Not great, but we were unagented, unagented, uninformed, and amateurs, so we didn't know. They also don't market the book, so I don't live on those royalty checks. Yeah, live and you learn. Yeah, stuff like that's hard. Stuff like that is hard. $3,000? Like, like, depending on how big the book is, it's probably a graphic novel. That's not a lot of money, and uh, ugh, watch out for those kind of situations. And that's why it's really, you know, important when an artist and a writer are working together, and you're like, and they're like, oh man, like we can collaborate. And 50/50, you know, it's really hard. Um, that's why if I work with a writer, I typically go, hey, I don't even ask for royalties because I just go, hey, this is my page rate, and then good luck selling it. Um, it can be, it can be really hard sometimes. Uh, let's see. Oh no, I just ruined my background. Okay. This is Gail. Publishing paid me graphics, forty-two thousand dollars per book. Um, four books, five and six, forty-seven thousand five hundred per book, seven, eight, and forty-two thousand five hundred for two original graphic novels. Um, I don't know if that's a lot of money. Uh, two for forty-two thousand for two original graphic novels really depends on the page rate. But you know, for you know, if you can live off of forty-two thousand dollars a year, you know, go for it. Dark Horse, however, paid her two hundred dollars per black and white illustration and three hundred dollars for black and white colored art. Um, that's for the Steven Universe coloring book. Um, so let's but let's pretend that it was a comic book and then you were gonna do that you were gonna do that year. It's so important as artists and creators, you know, to hone and learn different skills. But you can make more money the more skills that you know. Um, I'm originally just a writer. I mean, I've I've drawn my whole life, but I was like, man, I just want to be a writer. And then when I realized it was so expensive to to pay an artist, I started learning how to pencil, then I started learning to ink, now I'm learning to color, and the more you can do, the more you can make. So let's go 300 times 22 times 12, you know, 79,000, not bad. That is, that's not bad, I'll take that any day. All right, let's move on. Boom, oh, same person, Boom offered us $70 a page for pencils and inks, no royalties and i declined Ooh, that is hard 75 bucks for pencils and inks times that by 22 times that by 12 you know only like nineteen thousand dollars. i mean i made more at old navy uh let's see don't forget that while these numbers are helpful they aren't the whole picture advances are just that money you receive in advance of future earnings once you earn out the advance then you get paid royalties royalties are important absolutely you can make a lot of money with royalties uh this is sam mags let's see I think she was a writer. Nope, I don't know. I don't know who this is. You guys can look it up. But she says she made 10.5K 10, 10 for Fangirl's Guide, 7.5K for Wonder Woman, 32.5K for Girl Squad, 25K for Unstoppable Wasp, 9K for Tell No Tales, split with my co-creator. I make anywhere from 58 to over $100 a page in comics. All of these books also have royalties. Not bad. Let's, I mean, let's, let's just go her top one, 100 times 22 times 12 you know 26,000 but you know I'm wondering if she's a writer so she can make she can work on multiple multiple books let's see right here Montanero writing Marvel okay this is for writers uh, Marvel paid her or him or whoever it is Marvel $80 per page DC $90 per page Titan 50 pounds per page and art um, was varied um, Let's look at the writing. DC, $90 a page. 90 times 22 times 12, $23,760 before tax. And I mean, if you add, you know, a couple more books in there, you know, you can make a decent living. You, you, you write three books a year at that rate. You're golden. You're golden. All right. And then we got Mike S. Miller. Um... Everyone knows who this is, right? <laughs> Mike S. Miller, very little for most of my career. My DC rate in 2000 was 350 for pencils and ink. My DC rate today is 370 for pencils and ink. Wow. So we got 370 times 20. Oh my gosh. 370 times 22 
times 12. So at DC, he could at DC if if he were to work there, he'd make $97,680 a year. However, this is a big point what he says is he says what I got from doing my own book through crowdfunding is roughly $1,000 per page with pencils and inks. I'll never go back. My race doesn't matter. Um so yeah, uh, Mike, what Mike Hiss Miller is saying is, you know, through his crowdfunding, he crowdfunding he made around a thousand dollars per page, pencils and inks, and that's great. A lot of creators can and never can to never will get to that point. So let's just look at his DC rate: three hundred seventy dollars for pencils and inks. That's really good. That is really good. He can make you can make close to $100,000 um, if you are working steadily for an entire uh, 12 months uh, for them. And then that's not including the fact that you could sell your artwork if you're doing it traditionally and you're doing commissions and whatnot. So that's really cool. That is really cool. Now, the big thing when it comes to making art and when you're doing something at page rate, it's all about quality and it's all about speed and it's all about time. Uh, those three things. So, for example, your page rate could be, you know, could be three hundred seventy dollars like let's go let's go three hundred let's go it's easy let's do some easy math three hundred dollars per page for pencils and inks now if you can do if it takes you one page if it takes you a full day to do that page three hundred dollar your game you're making three hundred dollars per day now if you're able to do two pages a day you're making six hundred dollars a day which means you can take on more projects, which means you can make more money. However, then you gotta throw in the quality. You're probably making that much money because you're quality, and then also you, you know, you're know making that much money because you need to be on a deadline. Uh, so it's a lot of different factors. But it goes to show, you can make money. You can make money um, doing mainstream comics, um, as an artist, as a writer, if you're a writer, you might have a, you're going to have a little more bit of an uphill battle just because you really need to get as many projects under your belt, um, as possible. You need to be, if you're a writer for DC, you want to hopefully, hopefully you have like three or four comics that you're writing, um, in different, in various companies or all with DC. And if you're an artist, you know, learn more skills. Don't just be a penciler, be a pencil and an inker. You know, and if you can add colors to your work, wow, that's that's even more incredible. I know Francis Manipole, he can pencil, ink, and color his own work. So he's obviously his page rate's probably a lot more than all these other artists because he's he can do so many more things and he can do it timely and he can work on a monthly book. So yeah, guys, that's just that's that's what we that's what we talked about today. Really interesting stuff, um, you know. And I I would told I totally would at those at some of those rates I totally would be able to work in the mainstream, and I I think I could do a, more than a page a day, honestly. So you know that would be exciting. So I don't know. I also realize I keep saying so. Gosh, Tyler, freaking stop! All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch, check out Entity. It's on Kickstarter. 98 backers, $2,500. Thank you guys so much for the support. It's a 100 plus page graph, sci-fi graphic novel. Free shipping. Free freaking shipping. And I think on Tuesday night, which is the last day, we're going to have like a little after a little party to like you know commemorate the, the the end of the kickstarter so i hope to see you there if you haven't backed it yet please do link in the description down below guys you freaking rock have a good day peace <laughs>